good citizen. In its wisdom, the Minor Council has approved the reopening of trade links with the coastal cities of the Barbary Coast. A new agreement has been signed with the Bay to ensure your safety. from the coast. Stronger already. What does it mean here? I told him to be here. You told him yourself, in person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. Perhaps you'll arrive with the others. Walk with me. So, how do things in the palace? Honestly, it's difficult. Mosinigo keeps his circle closed. I have tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions, but he has other voices at his ears. Then you must work hard. You must become part of his inner circle. See, si, I understand. But it's harder than I expected. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just... Uh, the Doge doesn't like me. I wonder why. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learn what he craves and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia. The newest fashions from Milano. Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. A what? What did you call me? A doormat. A flatterer, a bootlicker. Need I go on? Bastardo. You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. Oh, I don't understand pressure. No, you have no idea. You are a government official. I am two steps from the door himself. I am beside him day and night. You wish you could be where I am. Are you done? Hardly. You listen to me now. Those can be recruited to our cause. I'm sure of it. Or just... I need a little more time. Time is not a thing we have, Rick Splat. Right. What's the plan? Go away, Fesso. Not you! Good evil! My feet are killing me. Can't we sit down inside somewhere? Do you know anywhere truly safe to discuss things such as these?
Buongiorno, cousin. Signor Carlo? We thought Emilio would be with you. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin. The same one who hunted down the Pazzi. He's here in Venezia. E così? Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now and we might not even know. He struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I am so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. We should keep moving. What does the Spaniard have to say of this change of plan? You can ask him yourself soon enough. He's here? From Roma? So I've heard. Good. But perhaps he's made a decision. About what, cousin? About Who? which of us shall step into the robes of the dawn? I didn't know there was a decision to be made. Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. He should be the one who organized the entire operation. The one who came up with the idea of how to save the city. There is no lack. Calma, calma, Amici. Please. There's no need for you. You know it's not up to either of you. For all we know, he may not even choose a barbaric. <laughs> and why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. Bastard! We wait for his arrival. Are you sure he's coming? Yes! Signore. I need eyes on us. Thank you, Dante. We will move at your pace. This guard's a good find, cousin. How much did you pay for him? Yes. Perhaps Thank not you. as much as he deserves. You should he saved my life on two Why? occasions. Though he's not much of a conversation. <laughs> Enough with your inane prattle. The choice of torture was never up to any of you. And you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. The plan is this. Doge Mochenigo will die tonight. And once that it's been done, Marco shall take his place. We ringrazio umilmente, Maestro. <clears throat> Good. Messer Grimaldi. You are closest to Mochenico. You work the most vital. Serve us well, and it won't be forgotten. Walk with me. I don't want any blood spilled, you understand? It must appear to all that he goes quietly. Certo, Maestro. When are you closest to him? I have full run of the palace. He may not care to hear what I have to say, but... He trusts me by now as one of his own. Bravo. Then I want you to infiltrate the kitchen and close his meal. So be it. Marco, can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. Ah, Silvio. I am at your service, my son. What can you bring to get this done? I will confer with my associates in the streets, but chances are good that I can procure some cantarella. Yes, and what is that? It is a most effective form of arsenic, and difficult to trace. Ah, va bene, va bene. Then it's the sign. This could be fun. Oh dear. My lace is in the mood for a little company. Well, aren't you excited? Feast my eyes. Yeah, so little. Spend an hour you'll so never forget. Glad. 
Forgive me, Maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you, involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans? I feel the need to involve myself more directly. The Batsy invited us in Firenze. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Patsy were a bunch of foolish... The Patsies were a potent and venerable family, reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe who now haunts your city. Or the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. Bene, I must return to Roma. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. I should have kept my eyes on them. I need to go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made. Salute, bello mio. Come stai? You back to see me already? Desolato, mia cara, but I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. Same business with the Doge. Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were taught that the nobles were just and kind. I believed it, though my father was only a cobbler and my mother is scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Babarigo. No! I say we are the thieves and mercenary Absolutely and whores. Bello. We work to save this city and its people. 
The nobles seek to make it their plaything. We need to scout the palazzo carefully. See it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the Dodge before we're able to get through all these guards. Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side.
Bene. We're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Ezio, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, Signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! All right, this way. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. Carlo Grimaldi. Emerging from his palace in Monaco with a craving for political power, Carlo quickly became a key guest at the tables of Venetian nobility while his reputation for discretion earned him entrance into the back rooms. Here's how the old bastard ended up in the Council of Ten. While visiting the head of the council, Ignacio Contarini, Carlo ran into Ignacio's daughter. Desperate for help and aware of Carlo's trustworthy reputation, she confided in him. Her father had arranged her marriage, but she wanted to run away with the son of one of the servants. They'd been in love since they were children and they planned to start a new life in Milan, where they could be free of her father. Carlo suggested immediate action, an escape by ship that night. The two lovers followed his instructions, and as they climbed the gangplank, they were free. That is, until Ignazio appeared on deck. Carlo was rewarded for his loyalty to the Contarini family. While true love, well, see for yourself. I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. You flew! See, but not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look, let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this petto di merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I've checked and rechecked my blueprints. 
It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, que idea del cazzo! Eureka! Of course! <laughs> Genio! What is he doing now? Heat rises. It needs fire. Heated air under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry, I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men move in behind you, and hold the locations. They light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. Remember your training! with the cap for so great. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just be ready to strike when the time is right. <laughs> Get lost. This is my territory, and you better play by the rules. It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Si. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. 
<laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. What's that? Don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come. It's your move. should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? Oh. Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the Doge! The Doge is dead! It takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me?! Hey, hey, you, I will do whatever you say. 